Yeah. Sir? Yeah. Uh, I've heard you talk about Athenian society and the quieting that took place there when a good chunk of its people became dissatisfied with the culture that did not represent them. Do you think we have that going on now? And essentially, how do we get back to being friends with each other? Yeah. Well, you're speaking to someone that grew up with three siblings and two first cousins that were part of my family. And of my four siblings, if, is this going to be aired? I guess it might be on tape. <laughs> two of them voted for, uh, I, I suppose, Bernie Sanders, and two voted for Hillary Clinton. So, and they, they, made me, they made me aware of it. But, and uh, so what we want to do is when we see people who vote differently than we do, we don't want to make that the sole criteria of how we treat each other. We can say there's all different factors that lead to that wrong decision on their part. But, but we, and, and we don't want to hold a grudge. We don't want to hold a grudge. So what I, I try to do is if I have to give a lecture and somebody disrupts it or somebody yells or I get, I, get, I mean, I, I live in California and I work at Stanford, so I'm in a situation where nine out of 10 people don't agree with me and one or two will come up and tell you that. So you want to not take it seriously. You don't want to have a vendetta. You don't want to warp your soul. And that's what would happen. You don't want to end up hating. And yet you don't want to be a pacifist either. You have to be firm, and you, because if you're not firm, you don't help the cause. You don't help the people that trust as you do. But you don't want to end up hating somebody or, or despising somebody. You, so I try to look for the good part in everybody, and I hope they treat me the same. I do think, though, that I'll just end with this comment. There's something about the current left, the progressive left, that's holistic in a way that the right isn't. By that I mean people who are conservative, they're willing to put politics in a central part of their life, but they have spheres, uh, subordinate spheres that are not contaminated by politics. You don't really care what the politics of a football player are. You would like to see the Oscars or the Emmys, just to, to give the, the, you don't want to hear a, a lecture at the Miss America contest. You want to turn on late night comedy and not be lectured. But the left feels that because their goals are so noble of radical egalitarianism, that it justifies any means necessary and that means that the universities, uh, entertainment, Hollywood, every aspect of our lives in a very Orwellian way has to be politicized and weaponized. And that's what we're all upset about. We, we don't want a war, we just want to say, or a discord, we just want to say, give us some peace. So out, once we get out of the political realm and we go to a football game or turn on music or watch a TV show, we don't have that 24-7 indoctrination. And for them, they can't do that because they feel they're morally superior and they're a war and me, any means are justified because of their noble goals. That's the difference between us. Thank you.